Welcome to this training session on dimpling for countersunk rivets. Dimpling is the process of making an indentation or a dimple around a rivet hole to make the top of the head of a countersunk rivet flush with the surface of the metal. Coin dimpling, or coin pressing, method uses a countersink rivet as the male dimpling die. Place a female die in the usual position, backed with a bucking bar. Place the correct rivet type in the hole and strike the rivet with a pneumatic riveting hammer. Coin dimpling should be used only when the regular male die is broken or not available. Coin pressing has the distinct disadvantage of the rivet hole needing to be drilled to correct rivet size before the dimpling operation is accomplished. Since the metal stretches during the dimpling operation, the hole becomes enlarged and the rivet must be swelled slightly before driving to produce a close fit. Because the rivet head causes slight distortions in the recess, and these are characteristic only to that particular rivet head, it is wise to drive the same rivet that was used as the male die during the dimpling process. Do not substitute another rivet. Radius dimpling uses special die sets that have a radius and are often used with stationary or portable squeezers. A dimpled joint reduces the shear loading on the rivet and places more load on the riveted sheets. Dimpling is required for sheets that are thinner than the minimum specified thickness for counter sinking. The temper of the material, rivet size, and available equipment are all factors to be considered in dimpling. Tempering is a process of heat treating, which is used to increase the toughness of iron-based alloys. Hot dimpling is the process that uses heated dimpling dies to ensure the metal flows better during the dimpling process. Hot dimpling is often performed with large stationary equipment available in a sheet metal shop. The metal being used is an important factor because each metal presents different dimpling problems. Hot dimpling may prevent cracks when working with 2024 T3 aluminum alloy. Magnesium alloys and titanium must be hot dimpled. Metals of different thicknesses are sometimes joined by a combination of dimpling and counter sinking. A counter sink well made to receive a dimple is called a sub counter sink. These are used when a thin web is attached to heavy structure or thin gap seals, wear strips, and repairs for worn counter sinks. Visually inspect dimples for quality. Place a fastener in the dimple to check for flushness. Look for radial cracks which start at the edge and stretch outward, indications of a dimple that is too deep or a rough hole. Circumferential cracks A crack may be created that runs around the edge of the dimple. Such cracks do not always show since they may be underneath the cladding. When found, they are cause for rejection. This concludes this training session. We hope you found it useful.